Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On February 21, 2024, the Budget Committee of the German Bundestag approved the procurement of Skyranger Mobile Air Defense Systems, which will be integrated into the 8x8 Boxer Armored Vehicles. These systems will feature a 30mm cannon and will be reinforced with the latest version of the Stinger guided missile, specifically designed for countering drones. The initial purchase, valued at almost 650 million euros, encompasses 19 anti-aircraft tanks, forming a crucial part of the air defense strategy aimed at combating unmanned aerial systems, CUAS, for immediate and short-range protection. The funding for this acquisition primarily stems from the special fund of the Bundeswehr, covering not only the procurement but also the development costs, totaling 37 million euros. Rheinmetall, the main contractor for the project, will spearhead the development based on their Skyranger 30 model. The procurement package includes a prototype, 18 production models, 8 reloading vehicles, and 8 workshop vehicles, along with 18 simulators. Additionally, there is an option to purchase an additional 30 tanks in the future. This acquisition is geared towards urgently bolstering the Army's air defense capabilities. While serving as an interim solution, these tanks will remain compatible with the future NNBS air defense system, anticipated to be fully operational later in the decade. The Skyranger 30 is a versatile hybrid solution designed to counter a wide array of future aerial threats. It integrates various effectors, including a 30mm automatic cannon, guided missiles, and potentially a high-energy laser, HE, variant. Equipped with appropriate sensors, the Skyranger 30 can autonomously monitor airspace, selecting the most suitable effector to neutralize identified threats. This capability ensures the protection of mobile units and critical stationary infrastructure from aerial threats while adhering to legal requirements and minimizing collateral damage. The 30mmx 173 KCE revolver cannon boasts a firing rate of 1,200 rounds per minute, with programmable time-delayed ammunition enhancing accuracy against even the smallest aerial targets. The guided missiles further extend the system's operational reach and flexibility. Regarding the HE component, Rheinmetall's configuration includes a laser source and guidance system integrated into the vehicle, along with a laser weapon station within the turret, doubling as a platform for electro-optical sensors. This station autonomously tracks and neutralizes targets with a laser beam, providing effective airspace defense with three distinct effectors, automatic cannon, guided missiles, and high-energy laser, tailored to the threat intensity. In field tests, prototype laser weapon systems have demonstrated outputs of up to 20 kilowatts, with plans to increase this to 100 kilowatts. The laser weapon station incorporates its own sensors for target identification and tracking. This project has garnered international attention, hinting at potential collaborations in development and procurement to address global air defense needs. However, the Budget Committee's approval is contingent upon detailed cost breakdowns and assessments of potential savings through international cooperation, expected to be provided in the coming months. That's all for now. See you later.